I chose not to modify my old toilet flange during this remodel, and it was about three-eighths of an inch higher than the finished floor. I decided to try a wax-free toilet seal instead of a wax ring, because this seal is less messy and it's adjustable for this situation. In addition to the flange bolts and washers, the seal comes in three pieces. The red part is a really soft rubber seal that sandwiches two black foam gaskets. You can remove one of the gaskets to accommodate different heights on your toilet flange. So if you have one that sticks up really high, you can remove the thick gasket. And if you have one that only sticks up a little, like mine, you can just remove the thin gasket. With the house water turned off, I removed the temporary cap from the water line and installed a one-piece shark bite shutoff and supply hose. A flange bolt gets installed on either side of the toilet flange. It has an oblong head that fits into the slot. And then you use a uh, plastic ring to hold it in place and then put the gasket on top of that. I really like this product, and I don't think I'll ever use a wax ring again. Now this one-piece skirted toilet was very heavy and awkward to install, so I placed cardboard on the tile to protect it, and I got help lifting the toilet in place. It's okay that the toilet rocks a little here. It'll be fine when I tighten the flange bolts. All right, I'll need some shims, but at least it fits. But I'm about to discover a problem with the supply hose. Oh, and that's too short. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. is too short. <sighs> Crap. Luckily, shark bite fittings are easily removed, so I exchanged it for a separate shutoff valve and a longer hose. Nice toilet, right? Yeah. We got a single one-piece toilet, really small so that it didn't look too big because we're making a bigger um, vanity here. So really nice and and compact. It is chair height and it is elongated and I like the straight lines on it and the best part is this uh, a two-piece has a seam right there that gets dirty and uh, usually there's also dirt under here too so this is what's called a skirted toilet and a one-piece design so uh, it's not a it's a, the brand is uh, American Standard it's their DXV line but the hard part about the skirted toilet is you got this little hole to work with to get the uh, the bolt in. So it's really it's really not easy. And it turns out that it's an 11 millimeter nut. You see that little slot? See that little slot on top of that screw? Well, that bolt. That bolt goes down into the toilet flange and it's got a, uh, an oblong head on it and that slot shows the orientation of the bolt in the toilet flange. And so I had a devilish time getting that nut tightened. I mean, bad enough it's, it's hard working in there, but I had this, this bolt would spin on me. So what I wound up doing was taking my vice grips very gently grabbing the top of it, holding it in like this while I use the the uh, open-ended wrench down the bottom to get the nut down tight. And so I compressed that gasket nicely, uh, the, the O-ring underneath the toilet, between the toilet and the toilet flange. 
And so that's compressed nice and tight right now, but not too tight because you don't want to crack the porcelain here. So I got it as tight as I can. It's nice and flush in the front. And in the back, I don't know if you could see it, right, right there, I've got a little piece of a shim that I put in there. This is what the shim looks like. It's actually a plasticky kind of composite. It's not wood. And the good thing about that is it won't compress and it won't rot if it gets wet or any kind of moisture. And I'm gonna caulk around the tub anyway, so you're never gonna see it. But I put a little tiny one there. It's about the first inch of this, right back there. And then I put another one. I put another one under there, right here. And uh, that, you could see this side of the floor is a little bit uh, off. It's definitely dips down on that corner. But that makes it nice and tight in the front. It doesn't rock. It's nice and tight. And the toilet flush is great. Let me show you here. So, very gentle, you know, just a, a quick flush for when you don't have much to flush down. And if you have more to flush down, you just push and hold it. And it lets all the, lets all the water out. Now to cover up these ugly holes, they give you panels that have sticky Velcro on them. And you just stick them into place and you can pop them out if you ever need to. So that is what gives you the nice clean side and you don't have to, you know, it doesn't get much dirt. Once I caulk around here, it'll be much easier to clean. One of the things you'll find on a, a nice high-end toilet like this is not only a soft closed seat, but you'll also find something that's removable and again, easy to clean. You just take the, the seat off and you can clean all around it. And this is a ingenious little design here. This uh, pushes down inside there. There's this little washer that goes underneath the gasket here that goes, pops in here. And then this pushes down inside. It is a little bit tight. So that gets in there. And then you tighten it up. A little bit of a cap on top. Hey there, if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon to be the first to know when new videos are posted. Look for Handy Dad TV on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and visit the website handydad.tv for more great ideas and information.